I will be giving you a city tour of Cork as a lot of people are like, where do you live? What's it look like? And I'm like, here you go. Basically, um, to get to the city is a 10 minute walk down the street. And the first thing we pass is the famous chip shop, Jackie Lennox, known for having the best chips in town and very cutely decorated fish and chips. They're delicious. Where do you buy shampoo or cold medicine? The pharmacy. bikes here went to the bike shed which is 20 meters up that alleyway just kidding up that alleyway I bet you can get there from either alleyway <laughs> coffee stop just kidding I got hot chocolate and it's delicious The River Lee. <laughs> Oliver Plunkett Street. The street has a lot of shopping on it. Euro Giant. It's like the dollar store, but they have everything you could ever need. Look at the Christmas decorations. So cute. I just love it. I love it a lot. If you need a memory card, go there. If you need sound equipment, go there. If you need a bagel or coffee, they have good coffee too. You can go to LA Bagels. Because nothing's more American than LA Bagels. Guineas is like the big lots of Ireland. And Pennies is like, <laughs> how do you describe Pennies? Everything is inexpensive, but they have like a lot of stuff. So when you're a student studying abroad over here, you're like, Perfect. You can get so many outfits for like 15 euro. It's great. You need some sweets? Go there. It has like all the candy on the wall. Like an old timey sweet shop. If you need to mail something, go to the post office. If you need to mail Santa a letter, Stick it in that shiny fire hydrant of a mailbox. <laughs> there you go, little McDonald's. We got a Christmas tree coming up. Do you want something? As we approach St. Patrick Street. They got like a lot of really nice places on this street such as Dunn's, which is one of my favorites. They have like, it's like a department store, but they also have a grocery store downstairs, which is one of the nicest grocery stores here. This is one of my favorite shopping streets because you have Gap. Next. And then H&M. You can see it's down there next to it. Um, I also really like New Look. It's like just gorgeous and huge. Unending list of things to try on and potentially buy. And then Office is also a shoe store that I like right here. I got my pair of flossies there. <laughs> Costa is a really nice coffee shop and then there's the opera house right there 
and I went to that. I went to a show in the Opera House like, what was that, two days ago? Now we're gonna head that way towards Tesco, the grocery store. Boots is like Walgreens makeup and uh, so much more. <laughs> it's crazy how much stuff they have and how big it is. And if you need to print out photos, you can also do that upstairs. Which, I don't know how that goes with makeup, but somehow it does and it works. And finally, where I buy my groceries, Tesco. It took me like four days to find a grocery store here, and I started thinking that they didn't have any normal ones. It's pretty normal, but they also have like a clothing section, which I don't really know why or how that exists, but uh, it does. <laughs> this cute little square. And there's also a burrito place. One of the two I found here. Burritos and blues. I'm going. I'm going. A super quaint Cork Street. And you look at the end and see Subway. Eat fresh. Oasis is one of my new favorite clothing stores. And then down this street is the home of the delicious chicken brie and cranberry wrap. Fellini. It's just so dang good. Just so, so good. This is like international food street. There's a Mexican um, restaurant down the street too. Anyway, back to St. Patrick's Street and I'm street streak <laughs> the street, <laughs> and I'm probably gonna head home. <laughs>